now going to have a look at the rotator interval on ultrasound. So we're going to start off with our arm in neutral, as we would do for any shoulder scan. And we're going to find that distinctive landmark, which we can see in the middle of the screen here, and that bicipital groove. And we can tilt our probe, as we've seen in the other videos, just to make sure that we are seeing the biceps tendon there nice and bright. I'm then going to bring my probe up onto the top of the shoulder and you'll see that the probe angulation moves slightly. So the lateral aspect of the probe is going to turn round to face more medially, but we're going to keep that biceps nice and bright in the middle of the screen there. And then we'll start to see this region that is referred to as the rotator interval. Now, what we can see in this image here is the long head of biceps tendon in the center of the screen, the oval hyperechoic structure. We can see the coracohumeral ligament over the top of this, which then will merge laterally into the anterior fibers as well of the supraspinatus tendon. We can see some of the fibers underneath the biceps tendon of the superior glenohumeral ligament. And then as we come that little bit more medial, we'll see the fibers of subscapularis coming through. So this is the region that we call the rotator interval and this is how we find it on ultrasound and as I mentioned a second ago just be very clear on the change in angulation of the probe as you come up facing much more medial towards the neck to then see those structures and fishtail in to try and bring them all into view nice and clearly. I hope that's helpful.